What's up guys, in this video we are going to learn how to play any playstation games on android. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. You can see clearly I'm playing PSG games on my android device. For your kind information, my device has just an entry level chipset but I can run PSG games with high definition and 60 fps by the help of PPSSP emulator. Today I'm going to guide you how to set up PPSSP emulator, then settings and best configuration after that control customization and at the last how to install ROM on PPSSP emulator. You can say it's a complete tutorial. My humble request to watch the full video carefully. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. The PPSSP emulator for Android is a popular application that can turn any Android device into a PSP console. It's well known for its high compatibility and performance. User can download the app from Play Store and it supports various features such as customizable graphic settings, support for different input methods, save states, multiplayer functionality, cheats and many more. So let's get started. The very first step we will do, we will download the PPSSPP emulator on our Android phone. Head over to the Google Play Store and search for the PPSSPP emulator. In the search results, you can see there are two different versions, PPSSP Standard 1 and PPSSP Gold. Standard version 100% free and there is no ads. In the previous video, I tried the blue one and in this video, I'm going to use the PPSSP Gold which is around $3 because someone told me that PPSSP Gold offers slightly higher FPS and better graphics quality than the PPSSP free version and this way you can also donate and encourage the developer team of this emulator. Once you have installed the PPSSP, launch the app. Now PPSSP will ask you to select a folder where it will install PSP data. Just you have to click on the OK button. It will take you to the internal storage of your mobile where you need to create a new folder and give a name like PSP and click on use this folder it will allow PPSSP P emulator to store data in this folder. Finally we are now inside the PPSSP emulator you will be created with this screen here all the games will be displayed at the left side on the right side and top bar there are other options and settings though we have launched the application for the first time there will be empty in the game library so we need to download and install some games it's better to be mentioned that PPSSP also provides some demo games itself. Just to click on the home view and the demos button which is at the top bar. Now click on the PPSSPP home view store. You can see there are few PSP games available but these games are not interesting and I think none of you would like to play this game. So we will download our favorite PSP games and install them manually. Switch to the game option which is at the top bar then open the browse folder. It will open your internal storage and navigate to the folder where you have stored PSP games. You can see I have some PSP games. Wait a minute now you might be wondering where I get these games and which games we should download. PPSSP has released a compatibility game list on their website. I have given the link in the description. From this list you can get thousands of games that are played in the PPSSP emulator. Tap on the use this folder which is at the bottom. It will allow PPSSP to get access to this folder. Before we start playing any games, check out settings menu because there are lots of different settings therefore a lots of customization which will be helpful to ensure the best experience. Under the section of graphics, you can see backend option which is the default selection of Vulkan. You can also change it to OpenGL. It can be very phone to phone or game to game. I suggest you to we use both of them to identify the best one for you. Now for a display resolution, you must try the native display resolution to avoid unwanted crashes. If your device is highly configured, you can try up to 4x or 5x PSP for better graphics. During gameplay, if you notice that your phone is struggling, then turn this down to one-time PSP. I recommend turning on auto frame skip for the smoothest gameplay possible. 
at the bottom turn on show fps count and show speed option if you want to see game information one more favorite feature of this app is the control menu because there is a lot to do here you can turn on and off touch screen controls for example if you have a bluetooth controller you wouldn't need this touch screen controls if you want to edit the touch screen controls you can move add-on buttons, change the size of the buttons and pretty much customize everything you want. That's why I would like to give 10 on 10 control customization of PPSSP emulator. In the audio menu, just leave it as default. Now I'm moving to the system menu. There are lots of options but I don't think you need to change anything here. Don't be afraid because if you screw something up, there is an option here to restore PPSSP settings to default. Now it's time to launch a game and get experience how this emulator can run PSP games on Android device. I would like to recommend everyone to try PPSSP emulator because it's free and full of features that creates PSP environment on our Android phone. If you think this video is useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. No more today. See you in the next video. Take care.